Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Destiny. I'm Death from Above. Today, I wanted to give you uh, a little bit of a tip or a trick that I've been finding out uh, as we get close to Beyond Light. One of the things I've been doing is grinding out a lot of my exotic catalysts that have sort of uh, accumulated, but I haven't finished because they require a lot of uh, a lot of killing, a lot of doings. And uh, I've been kind of ignoring most of them, and I finally started since Beyond Light is coming, and we don't know which exotics are getting buffs, nerfs. What's going to change? Archetypes be better or worse? I wanted to go ahead and push all the ones that I could push to uh, the top levels that I can. So I've been doing a lot of the exotic catalysts. Uh, case in point, Tommy's matchbook. Eh, it's a 600 RP, or it's a 720 RPM auto rifle. Don't really hear much about it, but I need to get enemies defeated to get the catalyst done. Didn't do it in the season it came out, so I'm doing it now. What I want to show you is the best place to do exotic catalysts in Destiny. And there's actually three places I'm going to show you. Um, because there's several different ways to finish exotic catalysts. Most of the weapons just require you to get a ton of kills with the weapon. Some weapons will require you to do specific things. I'm not going to get into the ones that have really niche specific things like Graviton Lances, Cosmology Kills, or what's the awful one? Polaris Lance Perfect Fifth Kills. Still hadn't done that one and I've had it since year one. Um, we'll do that though. We'll get it done. Check the stream out. I stream here, right here, YouTube or Twitch. Um, but we'll stream that. It'll be a thing eventually. Anyway, uh, where to do exotic catalyst. So I've found if you're doing a PVP catalyst like Suros Regime or, uh, what's the other one that I just finished recently, uh, for PVP, uh, it was a catalyst. It was, uh, something like the Jade Rabbit or, uh, there was another one, Vigilance Wing. If you want to do PVP, the best place to do that is probably going to Rumble. Um, there's no secret to this one. I like Rumble because it's a target-rich environment and you're not going to be fighting other people. You will be fighting other people for kills, but uh, you're more likely to encounter the targets to hit and get the kill than you are in, say, something like Control. Especially don't do Mayhem because that's all heavy and supers. Um, but Control, you know, Control is a good one because it lasts for a while, but I prefer Rumble to do the PvP catalyst. Um, so, you know, if you don't like Rumble, Control works. There's, there's no real secret to the PvP catalyst. You just got to go in and get Guardian kills, and you'll get it done. Now, the PvE catalysts, the one that require you to do a lot of killing, right now is the best time to do them because we are having Festival of the Lost. And you're like, what does Festival of the Lost have to do with getting exotic masterworks, exotic catalysts finished? Haunted Forest, if you have the gear, you get Heavy Ammo Finder, and it drops a lot, like a lot, a lot. Heavy Ammo Finder drops... A ton. You can basically main a heavy weapon in the Haunted Forest. So if you need to finish something like the Wardcliff Coil, the World Line Zero, like me, the Black Talon, go into the Haunted Forest. Do heavy weapon kills there because you're going to get uh, just tons and tons of heavy ammo. Not like uh, heavyweight strikes. Heavyweight strikes work, but you also have a team. I mean, you have a team in the Haunted Forest, but uh, you can kind of just go. And I find the Haunted Forest usually lasts longer than a strike, unfortunately, uh, or fortunately. So a lot of targets, a lot of heavy ammo. Uh, strikes don't drop as much heavy ammo, so I prefer the Haunted Forest. And so right now is the only time you can do that. And uh, the other one, the other location that I think is a really good tip that I just discovered accidentally on stream is on the moon, right here, Sorrow's Harbor. Do the, uh, what is this thing called? Altars of Sorrow. Altars of Sorrow, if you can get one to pop off, is un ending enemy hordes once you finish wave seven just fire it up again even if you're by yourself fire it up kill a bunch of enemies just wait for people to show up or not either way you need enemy kills and doing an altar of sorrow is relentless enemy uh, activation like they're always there so weapons primary secondaries where you need a lot of pve enemy kills altars of sorrow pve enemy or pve weapons that you need a lot of heavy weapon kills right now I keep right clicking that it keeps going over there uh do f uh, haunted forest make sure you have the helmet on that gives you the uh, heavy ammo finder and i think all of them do it any one of the different yeah they all do it uh, heavy ammo finder is very very useful and then uh like i said pvp i like rumble i like rumble for the catalyst but i'm doing catalyst right now i've got pff, one two three four five six twelve thirteen catalysts to get through before Beyond Light. So we got some streams to do so you guys can hang out. We'll do that and have some fun chit-chat, talk about guns, man, or life, or cars. I don't care. Um, but yeah, I'll be working on those. What are you guys working on before Beyond Light? And what? Uh, where do you do your catalyst? If, uh, if you got a better spot, let me know in the comments. I'll be happy to pin it if you want to. 
But uh, let me know. But until then, until next time, I'm Death Above, and I uh, thank you for watching. See you, bye.